Hello students, welcome to the lesson of Food and Textile Studies for Grade 9. Today we learn about food habits and food choices. Now let's look at the learning objectives. At the end of this video, you will be able to discuss factors influencing food habits and food choices, propose healthy food habits and food choices to reduce the risk of non-communicable diseases. People who have unhealthy eating habits have greater risk of developing health problems known as non-communicable diseases, that is, NCDs. A non-communicable disease is a disease that is not transferred from one person to another. The main NCDs include diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, and some types of cancer. The food that we eat directly influence our health. People of all age group, regions, and countries are affected by NCDs. One of the major ways of reducing the risk of NCDs is to develop healthy food habits and food choices. Now let's look at the definition of food habits and food choices. Food habits refer to why and how people eat, which food they eat, and with whom they eat. Food choices are the selection of food a person makes for his own consumption. Food habits and food choices differ from person to person, from one ethnic group to another, and from one country to another. Making healthy food choices leads to adopting healthy food habits. Food habits and food choices are influenced by both personal and external factors. Let's have a look about the personal factors. That is, needs of a person, nutritional requirements, personal preferences. What does needs of a person mean? That is, hunger, nutritional needs, activity level, state of health, and appetite. Nutritional requirements. Each individual has a specific nutrient requirements at different life stages. Personal preferences. Like or dislike of foods, that is taste, smell, color, and texture of the food. We also have moods and emotions, that is, happiness, sadness, and stress. We have also lifestyle of the person, that is, eating out and use of convenience food. External factors are availability of food that is food that are commonly and easily grown in garden at home local foods food in season as well as imported foods secondly individual and family income that is money available to spend on food for the family and pocket money of each individual. We also have social occasions, that is family meal times, parties, and 
picnic lunches. Peer influence, that is, people of the same age group eat different food and they may see their friends eating a food which they are not used to and in the long run they can start eating that particular food. Ethnic group, that is, traditions and religious beliefs. Advertising, that is, radio, television, social media, platforms and billboards promoting foods. After having learned about food habits and food choices, let's look at some topics on eating out. Eating out among adolescents is very common nowadays. Some common eating outlets are school or workplace canteen, street food vendors, food courts, fast food outlets, restaurants. Points to consider when eating out. Make sure you have enough money to eat at the place you have chosen. The place should be clean and the food handlers have hygienic practices. The food handlers must look clean and wear aprons or overalls. If you eat out often, choose your food wisely. For your meals, try to choose a variety of foods from the three food groups. Eat in moderation foods that are oily, fatty, too sweet or too salty. Drink water instead of sweetened, fizzy drinks. Healthy food habits and food choices will reduce the risk of NCDs. Let's look at methods how to reduce the risk of NCDs by having healthy food habits and food choices, meaning high intake of fruits and vegetables will help to decrease risk of cardiovascular diseases and cancer. Low salt consumption may maintain good level of blood pressure and reduce cardiovascular disease. Low consumption of saturated fats and trans fatty acids is linked to decrease risk of obesity and heart disease. High intake of fruits and vegetables and low intake of refined foods are linked to decrease risks of diabetes. Some key actions for wise food choice and healthier food habits to reduce the risk of NCDs. Eat a variety of food. Drink plenty of water. Eat in moderation. Increase intake of vegetables, fruits, whole grains, legumes and nuts. Limit intake of highly processed foods as these are rich in sugar and salt. Sugar and sweet or fizzy beverages. Limit intake of saturated fats, especially animal origin. Limit intake of salt and salty snacks. Limit intake of fried foods. So friends, at the end of this video, you have learned about food habits and food choices, 
Food habits and food choices are influenced by both personal and external factors and points to consider when eating out. Healthy food habits and food choices to reduce the risk of NCDs. Key actions for wise food choice and healthier food habits to reduce the risk of NCDs. Thank you very much for your attention.